let's say, commit our times to the Lord. Father, you're really good. Always, always, always. Everybody now, uh, see, what are we doing? Are we doing a formality? Or are we really connecting? So that means probably we'll have to just take charge of our mind, our brain, the thoughts. You know, stuff's going, slow it down. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now let's move down below our brain, clear down to our belly, our spirit. Now your spirit is in communication, has an audience with the spirit of God 100% of the time. And let's just go there. Okay, there it is. See, activate, recognize, acknowledge your spirit. Oh yeah, there you are. There you are. Begin to feed your spirit. Bless it. Just bless it. Oh, I bless you, my spirit. Oh yeah, I can feel you now. There you are. See, five minutes ago, I wasn't feeling my spirit because my brain was just putting practical things together. But now it's my spirit. Oh, yeah. Now I bless you, my spirit, because you and Father's spirit have been having the best time. You've been in a constant communion. You've been enjoying fellowship with God, no less. Nothing less than fellowship with God. Oh, and my spirit, you're just full. You're full. You are full, and can I say, run it over. My cup runs over, the psalmist said. My cup overflows. There you go, my spirit, I let you overflow into my soul. Yeah, take a big drink, my soul. Take a big drink. Just take a drink. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now I just, my soul speaking to my spirit. Oh, I love what you're giving me, my spirit. I love what you're giving me. Life from heaven. This is eternal life. This is heavenly life. And the word of God says, open wide your mouth and I will fill it. Yeah. Oh, we take a drink. Maybe this is like Joel 2. Someone said it's like Joel's bar. Take another drink. In that day, I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. Yeah, thank you. Well, Father, you set this whole thing up. You set up this arrangement with our spirit and your spirit and how our spirit could feed our soul and our body. You masterminded that. You dreamed it up. And you put together this whole plan. Lord, the more we do this, it feels like we're coming into a greater understanding of who we are. Oh, and our DNA. And our destiny. Some of these things are coming into more clear understanding. Thank you, Father. You're the best, Father. We like what you do. You're the best. Yeah. So, Lord, don't know where we're going to go exactly today. We never really do. But you always do amazing things. And, Lord, uh, I think it's Psalms says, and it was marvelous in our eyes. It has been in times past, and it will be today. Thank you for what you're doing. Amen. Did you take a little journey there on that little exercise? Bob Jones used to call our mind the beast.
quiet the beast, be still. You know, because our the beast speaks to us, you know, and he wants to override and tyrannize us, dominate us. And so we have to just sometimes, well, here, Soma said this. He said to himself, soul, why are you cast down? My dad used to take hold of his shirt like this when he was preaching. I could see this as clear as day. He said, so why are you cast down? Hope in the Lord. Well, that's what the psalmist did. He spoke to himself. And nobody called him crazy. <laughs> it's just coming to terms, making our being, our three-part being, come into the right order. Making our soul not be king. You can't be king any longer, my soul. Amen. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's what we have to come to terms with in life. Uh, where's, where's Earl? Oh, yeah, Earl. Uh, I don't know if you're going to talk about this, but uh, last, was it Sunday night? You guys had a lot of fun and excitement outside your house. And some car came speeding down the road and rammed into another car and so we could, at that point, become, oh, no, the devil's at it again, you know, and our brain and our soul just gets wrapped up in soulish responses, responses of the soul. But you see, that's where we take every thought captive. No, no, no. I'm not just a product and a recipient of coincidence and happenstance and the trickery of the devil. God makes all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. That means this is going to have to come to pass to be something really good. Oh, God, this is going to look good, isn't it? I don't know what this is going to turn into, but it's going to be really good. You see, that's coming to terms with and, and uh, taking authority over our soul man. So, man, you cannot dominate me. You cannot be my ruler. You guys tracking? Of course you are.